Hi, my name is Nick Sinabria, and I'm a board-certified music therapist based here in Orlando, Florida with Joyful Music Therapy. And I wanted to provide a resource for some of you that are looking to implement more music and relaxation to your daily routines. Um, it's important to note that this is not a music therapy session. In order for that to happen, the musical therapeutic relationship between client and therapist would have to be established first. We then, of course, individual goals for quality of life and health are then agreed upon and implemented through the course of therapy. It's important to set aside between 10 to 15 minutes in your day um, where you feel like you can have less um, distractions in the comfort of your home. Um, important then to find a place in your home where you feel most comfortable. Um, and if it's something where, you know, you're going to do this exercise sitting on your sofa or your recliner, um, wherever it may be, um, comfort is everything when it comes to doing an exercise like this. The next is, of course, selecting the music. Um, I would highly suggest choosing something that is more ambient in sound, um, where there's less movement in the harmony, the melody, um, and of course the rhythm. We want the music to support breath. So when we think of breath, we think of it as being sustained. Um, so any anything that will do that would be great. And if you know, if you're not in the mood for ambient sounds, um, white noise is great too, like waterfall or river flowing. So for, the, for this exercise that we will be focusing on the breath um, and using our imagination um, to be as detailed as we can when it comes to envisioning ourselves in a place that is more peaceful and tranquil. Um, so we will begin. I'm going to start the track. So as you press play, you're going to want to start by taking a few deep breaths in and out using your diaphragm. And in this moment, it's important to be mindful of how your body is feeling, um, what muscles are tense. So kind of do an overview, starting from the soles of your feet, up to your calves, your thighs, midsection, your chest, back, arms, and of course your head. Begin breathing those long breaths into those sections, one by one. And as you draw each breath, think about how the oxygen that you're taking in is rejuvenating those spaces. And once you feel as though your body is settling in with each breath that you do draw, it's important then to think about where you see yourself. So envisioning perhaps a favorite place of yours or um, a flower garden or a remote island, a cabin in the mountains really anywhere where you can see yourself being at peace. Just allow yourself to go there. You're going to want to still continue to breathe. And then you'll want to notice your surroundings and how your senses are impacted by those surroundings. So for instance, maybe you'll notice how green the grass is, or how the birds are singing their song in a tall tree, or the smell of labyrinth lavender in the air as you walk through that garden, or how gentle and beautiful the snow is falling um, on top of that mountain. You're going to want to be as detailed as, as possible in order to allow yourself to further relax. You want to continue still breathing in and out. And of course, you're free to be as creative as you want to, you know, think about who's with you in that cabin or in that garden. You, is your dog with you? Or perhaps mom is baking an apple pie in the oven. Um, really, it's completely up to you. And in these moments, I would also um, begin doing or stating some positive affirmations something along the lines of, you know, I am enough. Um, I do my best each day. Um, 
anything that will allow you to practice some self-gratitude and to acknowledge the hard work that you are doing. So in this space that you are envisioning, you know, it's, it is a space that you can come to any time that you need that break from the stresses of life or when things get so demanding. It is your time just for you. And as you continue to breathe and you feel as though you've gotten to a place where you're ready to come back to reality, I would suggest um, giving yourself a countdown, either from counting down from 20 to 1 or 10 to 1, really whatever you see fit and what you feel like your body is really calling for. And as you count down, before you get to one, remind yourself that when you get to one, you're going to be calm, you're going to be rejuvenated, um, that the break that you just gave yourself um, was worth it, and that you're worth it. So I hope that this resource will be useful and helpful to you um, in your daily life. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again. So thank you so much for watching and take care and be well.